with one more. There's one right to the side. Alright. He's chowing down. We made it out here to Buffalo, Wyoming. I like to have a management tag. I have a trophy tag. Well, the goal is to shoot a long ways. This gun we brought, LRM, shooting 180 grain ELDMs. This thing's been shooting for a couple weeks very nicely. So we're gonna try and get elected a long shot. You nervous? A little bit? Sorry. Good. He is a long ways away. He got a kicker back there too. I don't know where it is really. He's way over on the side hill though. Kind of a badlands hunt. You know, a lot of this rolling sagebrush hill stuff. So a lot of glassing, cruising some of these ranch roads. Dennis uh, runs cattle in here uh, most of the year. And so he has an idea what's running around, but as always, we're hoping something new sneaks in. Is uh, what we're chasing here. So got a couple bucks down here. We're gonna keep an eye on. Go see if we can find something a little bigger. Let's do it. These deer look healthy. They look like they've been eating. They've been eating good. <laughs> Let's go find, they've go been, find some. They've, it's been a dang good year for corn growth and everything else. Good. Put the bait. Oh, he's got a kicker. He's a straight up cold ear. He got that powder river crab claw. 1107, now we're talking. We just found a pretty good looking coal buck, just a weird looking three point, big nice box. Three snuck out over the top. Two magpies are in now. Two magpies, huh? Well, that's the fun thing about hunting with Dennis. You quickly get options. He's always got deer tucked away somewhere. So, got a big boxy three point. We've got a real crab claw four point. We've got a really big two point down there. Yeah, that thing's probably older than you. <laughs> he probably is. He probably is. Definitely older than she is. Be like eating a shoe leather. Found one of our management. He's gonna be, he's on the list. He doesn't have the green light yet, but love his frame, real boxy. Got a big thick neck, good looking coat. It's a good buck. Skittish, he's the jumpiest deer we've seen so far. Hot chocolates. Goodness. I know. 
That is one heavy, heavy deer. <laughs> Good. What is he? He's a three by three back forker. He is heavy. Call buck all day long, but boy howdy. We usually have to divide, you know, Dennis's measurements by about two, one and a half. And <laughs> so we're gonna get over there and double check him. <laughs> He said that on video. I know. He's this big around. <laughs> see, see, we're gonna He's go. He's that big around. We're gonna go. We're gonna, but hey, best way to check that is get him on the ground, Dennis. Get a tape out, isn't it? Ground checking. Oh. We seen a real cool boxy three point last night that was skittish as all get out, but we spotted it this morning at about half mile. So we got about a 10 mile an hour wind here that I don't like, but. I've seen Electa shoot, I think she can do it. He's a cool deer. Dennis, how long are we gonna let him taunt us before we send some legends? Busty. Bust, him. <laughs> Bust away. Uh, can we get down? Does this go down here very far there? Yeah, it's very far. Down. What do you think? Big enough? We're not picky. We can manage that. Huh? <laughs> That's right. We're not picky. Come here, what are you thinking, huh? You're cold. I'm cold. You're cold, we got a nice deer out there at a thousand yards. Wind's a little tricky. Problem is we can get 600 yards ahead of us and that'll leave us at four. That's a little closer than we want to shoot. Then Annie Oakley here wants to shoot on this trip. I don't blame her, she can shoot. Would be be too low? Yeah. That doe's in heat, or about to be. He's chasing her like crazy. Yeah, she's kind of leading the way, and she. Yeah. Wait, that seems a little low, Gareth. It's the only way I'm gonna see through it. Just the right height for you. He just disappeared right into that greasewood, didn't he? Yeah. There he is, there up is. into the right. Yeah, I got him. You see that big old ball spot? If you come down into the left, there's some trees. Mm -hmm. Just to the left of those trees. You kind of see the sun shining on it. Eleven oh two. Yeah, we could drive down to this point. Goodness. The do he's not with the doe though, is he? Anyway. There you go. From the bottom of that yellow grass coming straight down towards you and I where it turns into shade and he's just standing broadside in the shade there. You find him? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got a minute now. So are you, did you find him, Electa? Uh -huh. Okay. 
that buck's bedded down on us. We're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and get about 150, maybe 200 yards closer. We've also we're also dealing with a quartering wind. Um, it, it's head on and then it's quartering, which makes it real tricky. We're gonna try and move 90 degrees here to our uh, I guess that'd be the southwest, and uh, see if we can't get a full value crosswind on it, maybe 800 yards or so. It'll make a little better shot for it. Let's pack up our stuff, Gurley. We're gonna go get a little better shot at him. We'll keep pushing. So deer up. Let's go. Uh, we got another hour. Let's see yeah. what we can do. Start. We don't need much more. And he's got he's got some weight up high. Well and he's not this narrow. We've seen him no, around. He's, he's that wide. Well, he's that wide. He's not, not yeah, he's about right there. He's about that tall. He's got forks that deep. track. He sent it down to the bottom. Now the big question is, did he go left or right? Hopefully he'll back up. If he went down, he's probably still moving. If he went up, we can turn him up. buck just a real heavy nasty two-point here buck we came for elected to shoot we're gonna get up on this little perch here hopefully we have about a seven eight hundred yard shot a little bit of a crosswind um, I see her shooting all the time at the shop I know she can make this shot it's uh, gonna be a little tricky to open the wind but uh, I know she can do it we're gonna take our time and uh, make a good shot so we're gonna get up there See that? I can't see all of them. We're gonna have to back up just 50 yards, 100 yards. I'm just afraid if he stands up, then he's gonna. If he drops down, we'll yeah. see him. Jump in here and just 
just double check this parallax. Just double checking our parallax. Anytime we're shooting out at distance, we want to make sure that parallax error is set or parallax is set for us. Um, make sure you dial that at any different range you shoot. Luck, huh? the, the, the question that she really has is, is it big enough to make those boys a little jealous? <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. Buck was facing into the wind. We figured we could have had between four and five minutes worth of hold that was gusting between you know 10, 11 up to 14, 15. The way he was facing, we figured we'd go on the low side so we'd hit front shoulder anywhere back into lungs. So we were kind of crowding the odds in our favor. Had he been turned the other way, We'd have been at five minutes. Uh, make sure we got, you know, kind of the front of the lung or all the way up to the shoulder. Good shooting, hon. Yeah, she did well. Very cool. Look at that man. Thanks, Dennis. Shoot, no worries. Good cool buck. Nice work, girly. Half a mile shot. Way to go. slip on us he looks good from what we can tell uh, right off the bat but he was in a hurry so these draws are a lot a lot deeper than they look one more big buck the frames are getting bigger I don't know if we have the green light yet but it's been a good evening so far on once he's about he's as close as we're gonna get but about 12 1300 yards we're gonna take a couple quick ranges and make a decision That one, try again. It was like right, right below his neck. Like okay, right so there. you need to hold another minute. Elevation was good, you need to hold another minute right. Hold, hold point of his shoulder. Wow! Oh. <laughs> Dead right there! <laughs> Ready to go, Dennis, huh? Last night, last light. We got her done. With the hepster. 
Dennis Timothy Hap, shit <laughs> getting it done. <laughs> Today is Electa's birthday, huh? What better birthday present than to hang around with me and your dad and Dennis for a day yeah. in the truck? <laughs> oh yeah, that every 13-year-old girl's that dream, was right? Awesome. <laughs> Steer, nice pack out, 20 feet from the road. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> Mandatory when hunting with Dennis is proximity to the road. It beats Electra's. <laughs> yeah. We had to pack it out of a hole. That's true. Uh, we saw this buck last night around with the doe, but uh, he was in a he was in a hurry last night. But he get, showed himself tonight. Alexa made a pretty awesome shot on her management buck, half mile, stiff breeze. He's pretty cool. Uh, there's there's some a lot of character on this ranch here. Uh, it's fun. To...